Welcome to another mod review where we're going to be covering the Mythic Mounts mod, adding 14 tameable and rideable creatures to discover. It is possible to get a miniature version of each mount by breeding two of them together after you have them tamed and fully healed. Just feed the newborn a warped fungus and you can cancel this by feeding it a crimson fungus before it matures. To tame any of these new creatures, you repeatedly try to ride them until they do not kick you off their back anymore. Similar to taming a horse, you will want to be aware that some mounts are hostile towards players until you have them tamed. Once tamed, you can equip it with a saddle to control the movement, horse armor for protection, and even chest to increase their inventory size. And to have it stay in place, instead of wandering, just right click it with a stick. Some mounts are able to fly by using your jump key a few times to take off, and some are able to swim applying a swim boost when you use your jump key. Like some other pets in Minecraft, there are mounts that will defend you in battle, attacking any threat in front of them. There is also a summoning staff that allows you to summon your tamed mount short distances and loaded chunks you just have to right click the mount to link it first now let's cover each mount starting from common making our way to rare covering key information over each Starting with the common mounts, the courier bird can be found in a variety of jungle biomes with sweet berries and melon slices being its breeding items. This will initially run away from players when you try to tame them, so you do have to be quick with it, and they are not a defensive animal either. The giant moth is a really unique mount in my opinion found in dark forest. These creatures love to eat sugar, melons, and glistering melons. They will not fight alongside you, but can fly into the night sky with ease. The Nightmare is probably in my top three favorite. I mean, come on, how can it not be? This majestic horse can be found wandering in soul valleys along with basalt deltas, with their favorite foods being blaze rods and fire charges. They will defend its owner and can even walk on lava, making them a great pet to go on your next nether adventure. Nudie branches are very cute creatures that can be found swimming near warm ocean coral reefs, eating all the kelp they can. They will not defend their owner, but they will help you travel through the oceans. The rideable lizard is a velociraptor looking mount found in deserts and badlands. They love munching on rabbit, chicken, rotten flesh, and even pumpkins. They are hostile towards you until you tame them, but after that, they will defend you in battle. Moving on to the uncommon mounts, the Incensia is a really cute snow leopard living in a variety of taiga mountain ranges. This creature loves to eat mutton and salmon, as well as defending its owner from any threats. The Archelon might be my favorite mount in the mod, living in deep, lukewarm oceans. Their favorite food is tropical fish and puffer fish. They, however, are not able to defend you, but do have the biggest inventory out of all the mounts. The Kalytra is a giant ladybug found in mushroom fields, which can be fed any flower, mushroom, or sugar. They cannot defend you, but will be able to fly you away from any danger. The dire wolf is a huge werewolf looking creature found in taiga spruce forest. They like to eat rabbits, chicken, mutton, beef, and pork chops, and you can probably guess that they will defend you in battle. Griffins are found in gravelly taigas and wooded mountains looking for rabbit and mutton to eat, and these creatures are willing to attack for you as well as carry you away from all threats. The nether bat is a large bat found in, you guessed it, the nether. More specifically, the warped and crimson forest. Their diet consists of pork chops, apples, and rotten flesh. They are hostile until you tame them, but after that, they will defend you against any threat and fly you to safety. The final two are classified as rare mounts, with the first one being the Zartak. This looks like a phoenix and can be found flying around inhabited villages. It loves the taste of golden apples and will defend you when necessary. Last but surely not least, we have the dragon found in large caves below Y level 40. They love to be fed golden carrots, golden apples, or glistering melons. They will attack you until you manage to tame them, but will be able to attack for you as well as fly you across your world. That is the full Mythic Mounts mod that could be a great addition to any mod pack. I will have a download link to the mod page in the description. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up. And with that, I will see you all next time.